I looked and said, okay, where are some really big market moves? And, and one of them that I saw, you know, being close to healthcare was this transition from of, of care sort of in a traditional setting into basically the smartphone, right? And that was the clinic of the future. For me personally, it was it was very much about being authentic, about going and tr truly trying to apply my skill set in, in a way to kind of change the world. Hi, my name is John Pierce, and I am Chief Executive Officer at Zipnosis. So Zipnosis is a um, software company. We are a SaaS-based business. We provide virtual care as a service platform to healthcare providers. So what does that mean? It means that we give healthcare providers all the infrastructure they need to be able to rapidly launch, integrate, and then scale virtual care for their patients. It's using their brand, their clinicians, they figure out how they want to go to market and, and monetize the service, and we basically do everything else for them. The genesis of Zipnosis is, it, it really starts with my passion for solving really big problems, and, and that's kind of a forte that I have. And, and so, as I was transitioning out of probation, which was this other healthcare startup, it was a really, it was a fantastic experience, and, and I got to cut my teeth on, okay, here's what a startup looks like when it's just a handful of people all the way through and, you know, an acquisition. And that's really fascinating and, and really fell in love with that um, as an opportunity potentially for myself. I think the, the power move for, for me as an entrepreneur happened uh, we, basically after we lost our first client. Um, we had a really good pilot, or so I thought here, with Park Nicollet in town and, and we're, we're queued up to have a multi-year agreement with them and then basically things just kind of stopped and um, we didn't really know why and, and it was very challenging. And, but at the same time we'd had two years of really good results, you know, uh, from a clinical efficacy, from um, a, a clinician efficiency, all the sort of the core things I looked at to say like, man, does this model work, right? Is this actually going to be there? And it just came back resoundingly yes. But then we're sitting here, we're out of money, we're losing our first client, and you, you can't go back to investors and do it. And, and so I sat down with a, a couple of, of the key members of the team, Kevin and Becky, and just said, and we sat at Keys Cafe, and, and I said, here's the deal. You know, we're out of money. Um, I don't know where the next paycheck comes from, but I'm gonna basically run with this and see what we can do. And they said, all right, we're on board. And that was a, that was a, a, a big move for us because it put a lot of value in, and faith into what we were doing and that we were gonna kind of figure out how we, we made money on top of that. And despite what most people would probably see as like logical reasons to stop, um, it was sort of an irrational decision. And that's when you, you sort of build that power base a little bit. And, and that helped us, I think, get next client number two and number three, because they could see that there was a real passion and conviction behind us. And it, we weren't just sort of like doing a bunch of hand waving out there. So that was, that was definitely a, a big move for us.